So we're going to talk about Redbird, Chief Redbird of the Cherokee, Chief Butterfly, and uh, the Indian Old Fields, Skipikithiki, and Simon Gertie. A little bit of Simon Gertie. So Aaron Redbird, who's known as Aaron Brock or Aaron Sizemore, Chief Redbird, Chief Cardinal. So Aaron Redbird. Aaron moved far and wide with multiple wives, families, and fighting alongside colonials in the U.S. American Revolution. His totem included Redbird. Aaron assisted his people along the Redbird captains like Binge or Chief Bench or Bing, among other chiefs or captains. The Cherokee have always been connected to Kentucky or Kentucky, Kentucky, as well as other southern areas. It is likely he knew Cherokee War Chief Dragon Canoe and Chief Butterfly. Dragon Canoe, a founder of the Chickamauga and the Creeks, has very strong leaks links to southeast Kentucky. Canoe, Kentucky is named for Dragon Canoe. Not a U.S. military figure. Canoe, Kentucky is in Breathitt County. Uh, also has connections to the community of Thousand Sticks. Kentucky Thousand Sticks is known for the Red Sticks, the warrior class with wolf band links. Protected the tribe when possible. The Red Sticks are the Red Lance in Chickamauga and Creek history, as well as CN and allied groups. Thousand Sticks, Kentucky is in Leslie County, between Clay County and Perry County. The Red Sticks, with over a 1,000 warriors, resided in the area prior to some relocating to Alabama. Chief Butterfly, a signer of the Cherokee Treaty of 1798 with Cherokee chiefs like the Prince and the Cherokee with the Keene family in his name and others, is linked to the Kentucky community of Butterfly in Perry County. There's a Butterfly community in Perry County near Hazard, Kentucky. Chief Butterfly is related to Cherokee Martin families and Butterfly Bush or Butterfly Plant or Weed and Butterfly Medicine and the Red, Yellow and other Butterflies of Nature, insects like the Snake Doctor. Chief Butterfly, the Canoe and others operate in the same area of Kentucky as Aaron Redbird, Aaron Brock or Sizemore and in the same era. Cherokee Tribe has always claimed Kentucky as descendants of the Cherokee Emperors, Cherokee Kings, Cherokee Tuckahoes, King Powhatan and the Cherokee Royal Families with links to Char Empire, the Poe and Panky or Ponca, and the ruling native councils. We are their descendants. Our past includes Aaron Redbird, a rel relative of Doublehead and Moy Toy himself. The Doublehead Kings lived in Kentucky. See Doublehead uh, Creek in present Clay County, Kentucky, and other Cherokee areas. The history of Kanatakaho is our history. Cherokee history is real and is also now. The Red Bird Band of Cherokee. <laughs> cool. Cool website. So, there's that uh, Chief Redbird. He has an entire national park named after him in southeastern Kentucky. Um, also, new Chief Butterfly, who was a, a signer of the Cherokee Treaty of 1798 with the Cherokee Chiefs, chiefs like the Prince. Uh, Simon Gurdy. Simon Gurdy was a white person that deflected over to the Indian side. I have um, that... that uh, graphic novel actually that I'm reading which is very good is very interesting I'm about uh, three quarters of the way through it um, so I, I guess I know what's going to happen so it's kind of hard to read a story when you know the ending is going to be bad um, but in the very beginning Simon Gertie his father Simon Gertie senior was killed by a British officer in a duel <laughs> killed him right um, George Crogan and the Cumberland County Court burnt Simon Gertie senior's house for squatting um, when uh, Isaac Shelby first became governor of Kentucky, he had anti-squatter laws or laws that were actually in favor of squatting. If you had a cabin built and you was raising corn crops, you've been there for a long while, then you would actually get to keep your land um, without the landlord taxing you or um, charging you any money. So you have uh, Simon Gertie. He was killed by the British officer. Um, the, his stepfather, John Turner, who uh, Simon Gertie Jr. or Sr. and John Turner were like friends. John Turner takes his wife and he's taking care of his kids, but then he's uh, uh, captured by the Indians and he's burnt at the stake and in front of Simon Gertie. So Simon Gertie gets his father killed. His stepfather was killed, burnt at the stake in front of him. He has to run the gauntlet. Then he becomes adopted by the Seneca Indians. Uh, the Delaware captured Turner, his wife, and his seven kids. And then they uh, dispatch all the kids in different directions. He had several brothers that was with him, George Gertie, um, Simon Gertie and George Gertie, I think was his, his brother's name. He had two brothers. Simon Gertie had two brothers uh, that was fighting with him. You know, when he was 23 years old, he was returned back to the whites, so he was with the Seneca Indians for seven years, which is a substantial portion. Then he would fought along with the whites for 14 years, so he did have a kind of a um, checkered past, right? He saw different atrocities. 
uh, when he fought against the Shawnee, he thought of them being as the Seneca, and the Seneca and the Shawnee did war against each other, but they had a common enemy. Uh, Simon Gurdy, so uh, when he was 23 years, went to the Whites, he worked with Dr. John Connolly, a uh, land company and trader. Um, he helped uh, establish Indian trade, trading towns. Dunmore's War, uh, Gurdy was there at Dunmore's War with uh, Simon Canton, right? Uh, Jacob Greathouse is a bitch who fucking killed Logan's brother and sister or, or unborn child or husband or his kinsman and his cousin was kidnapped. See, Little Turtles War, Pontiac's Rebellion, Chief Redbird. Uh, Jamestown, Kentucky used to be Jacksonville, Kentucky, so good for Jamestown for changing their shit away from a genocidal maniac into whoever Jamestown is named after. The Cumberland River used to be known as the uh, Shawnee's River. Shawnee's, Shawnee. Shawnee's is another word for Shawnee. So the Cumberland River should be called the Shawnee River. Just like the Chickasaw Lands. The uh, uh, Jackson Purchase should be called the Chickasaw Lands. Cumberland River is the Shawnee River. English sent smallpox blankets to the Shawnee and the Delaware. They would also shoot the Shawnee just for sport on the Ohio River. The uh, the chief, the, the, the Senecas that Gertie went to was Chief... Kaying Warto, Kaying Warto, K A Y I N G W A U R T O, Kaying Warto, Chief Kaying Warto. The Seneca, they had council fires, and the council fires is where they would sit down and retell their history and their story, where they came from, what they were about, and they would also practice orating passionate speeches around a council fire. Um, and Gertie lived at the Seneca for, it says, four to eight years, but it said seven in the. Um, that graphic novel. So, so Simon Gertie. Simon Gertie had council fires. Um, the uh, Indian Old Fields of Skipikitiki is the last known town of Kentucky. The last known town of Kentucky is um, possibly why Kentucky has its name, Kentucky. Indian Old Fields, it's the English name, is the site of an Indian village and trading post in Clark County, Kentucky, called a Skipikitiki. The name is Shawnee for the place of Blue Licks. So, Lower Blue Licks, Upper Blue Licks, that's around a Skipikitiki. It's all the same spot where the Shawnee had the Battle of Blue Licks, the worst, you know, battle for the Kentucky settlers. Seventy-two people, uh, the Kentucky settlers had died, including Israel Boone and I think his nephew or his brother or something. Daniel Boone's brother and nephew died in uh, the Battle of Blue Licks. Hugh McGarry, he was a psychopath that had led all of them to their suicidal deaths, their limbing mission. The name is Shawnee for the place of Blue Licks, referring to the salt deposits on Lowell Begrud Creek. Miss Lucille Golf Clark, great-great-granddaughter of Thomas Golf, early settler in Clark County, says the settlement existed in the days between 1670 in 1754, the thicky part in the name meant place, like blue like place. The word Shawnee in the Indian language meant southerner. Another righty, Bessie Tall Conkrite explained that in 1724, a band of Shawnee Indians who lived on the Savannah and Suwannee, uh, Suwannee rivers had a quarrel with their neighbors and immigrated to Kentucky, settling near Howard's Creek. Mrs. Golf Clark wrote that the Shawnees were a branch of the Algonquin Indians of Wisconsin. This group had broken away from its tribe and settled permanently at Skipikitiki. This group had broken away from its tribe, um, permanent, settled permanently there. Within memories of the Indians themselves, not one tribe except the fighting Shawnees had dared to settle permanently in Kentucky since these hunting grounds were considered to be the property of all tribes. However, according to archaeological research, there have been many Indian settlements within the borders of Kentucky. John Goth reported that Indian oil fields and Big Bone Lick were the only two Indian settlements in Kentucky. In 1922, Bessie Tall Conkright stated that in 1750, Indians dwelt in three places in the state. The Chickasaws were in the extreme west cliffs of the Mississippi River. A flood destroyed the Shawnee town of Shinoa on the Ohio side of the river at the mouth of the Scioto. It was built, rebuilt on the Kentucky side across from the mouth of the Scioto, and the other settlement was the Skipikitiki. So three places they dwelt. The Chickasaws were in the extreme west on cliffs of the Mississippi River. A flood destroyed the Shawnee town of Shinoa on the Ohio side of the river. The mouth of the it was rebuilt on the Kentucky side. So wherever the Shinoa, wherever the opposite of Shinoa was. So there's another town in, in Kentucky. All right.
So present day writer and editor Bob Smith has found the remains of many Indian se settlements in eastern Kentucky mountains. There's evidence of long-term living conditions. He feels strongly that it's clear that Kentucky was home to many Indian people, not just a hunting ground. Um, the, hunting was excellent in Kentucky for deer, bear, buffalo, elk, and smaller game. They lived here. Records by the French Jesuit priest indicate that some of the French were driven out of Illinois by the Five Nations. So the Five Nations drove them out of Illinois. The Jesuit Relations of 1670 states that some of the French were driven out of Illinois and fled southeast, taking refuge with the Shawnee Indians at Eskipikithiki. The French-Canadian census of 1736 stated that the Shawnee village of Eskipikithiki numbered between 800 to 1,000 people. This would be about 200 heads of families. The French claimed what is now Kentucky at this time because central Kentucky rivers drained into the Ohio River. The French said LaSalle, LaSalle discovered the Ohio River, so all of its watershed belonged to them. The English declared that LaSalle never touched the Ohio River, only the Wabash in Indiana and thought it was the Ohio draining into the Mississippi River. <coughs> But the Shawnees felt that they were under the jurisdiction of the French. They welcomed both French and English trader, however, trading furs for guns, powders, and trinkets. Um, the Shawnees welcomed traders but were inhospitable to white settlers. Two early traders, Mr. Hart and Peter Cartier, came in 1747. The Indians had burned out the trees in open plain at Skipakitki so grass could grow to attract game. They grew corn, tobacco, potatoes, beans, pumpkins, and, and sunflowers. So they also cleared the land to raise crops. The Warriors Trace was an old Indian trail that ran from the north across the Ohio River at the mouth of the Skiota River and proceeded along the Licking River through what is now Fleming County, Kentucky. The trail ran through Skipakithiki with one branch leading down through the Cumberland Gap. The French took this trail to trade in the Carolinas and Georgia. John Goff in an old newspaper account states that the Buffalo Trail, known as the Warriors Path, ran from Blue Licks to Indian old, old Fields. There it divided, one branch going toward the valley lands of Red River, the other to the Kentucky River and Cumberland Gap. In 1907, this old path was still plainly discernible in places that could be followed with great accuracy its entire distance. This was the first road in Kentucky. Eskipakithiki covered approximately 3,500 acres of level prairie-like land between Lowell Begrund and Howard's Creeks. All that remains today at the time the newspaper article was written is a huge Indian mound. Not far from its base stood a long log stockade built into a circle. This was the main trading place. Wigwams and cabins were scattered from the trading center to two miles north where the village of Kidville stands today. The cabins had rounded roofs and reached from Howard's Creek to Lowell Begrud Creek. They didn't build too close to the springs where game came to drink. The Indians liked the salty, sulfur water. John Goff states that the fort at Indian Old Fields was surrounded by a high fence or a palisade. In the center was a huge locust post, guarded by fire, where death penalty victims were executed. Goff said that the post was still standing when his father was a boy. So, a lot of the artifacts of this town still was there, which is crazy. John's great-grandfather was Thomas Goff, his godfather, Elisha. Settled on the meadowland at Eskipakithiki in 1907. There was a burial mound of the Shawnee uh, at the Shawnees at Indian Old Fields, located at the falls of Combs Creek on what was known as the Donahue Pace, owned by place owned by A. H. Anderson. So A. H. Anderson had owned it. Indians were buried by laying them on the ground, covering their bodies with stones and dirt. Upright stones were placed around the body. This gradually became a heap or mound. Two Indian graves were also located on top of the hill, which stood near the road leading from Kidville Pike to Hollywood Springs. Bessie Conkright wrote in 1922 that on a high bluff overlooking Howard's Creek near Iron Works Pike, you could see the remains of the old fort in the Gulf Mound and Circle. The circle is the remains of the old palisades, the palisades surrounding the town. This enclosed an, uh, enclosed an oblong space measuring 200 yards by 180 yards. Charred, sharp pal palisades were dug up repeatedly, showing that Eskipakithiki was burned down. Concrete says the mound is within the circle on the western edge, overlooking the creek. Um, she presumes it was the entrance to the fort. Years later, this is written in 1922, the mound was open 
by Lucien Beckner. He found a succession of hearse layers of charcoal ashes and bones one after another. In the center was the charred, charred end of a post. Conkright says the mound may have accumulated uh, around the stake where victims were burned. So the Shawnee and the Skipikitiki were burning motherfuckers at the stake. Skipikitiki. It's where Kentucky's name came from. Kentucky. It's a Shawnee word. <laughs>